Good morning, my sister, my brother, Bert DeWore here, trusting that you are doing well. Well, happy Monday, happy Kwanzaa for those of you that celebrate Kwanzaa. Today is the first day of Kwanzaa. So let us get into our topic, and we are in E Shall Receive Power by Ellen G. White. And we are talking about by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb. So before we get into it, let us go ahead and pray. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God, for giving us another opportunity, Father God, to get our lives in order. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to decrease me, Father God, so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it stayed here by the blood of the Lamb. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. And they love not their lives unto death. This is coming from Revelations 12, verses 11. Revelations 12, verse 11. Father God, as we continue to study, Father God, the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, Father God, we actually open our hearts and mind to receive this information. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In his state here, let us consider the life and the suffering of our precious Savior in our behalf. And remember that if we are not willing to endure trials, toil, and conflict, if we are not willing to be partakers with Christ of his suffering, we shall be found unworthy of a seat upon his throne. Mm. Should I repeat this? Let me repeat this. Let us consider the life and the suffering of our precious Savior in our behalf. And remember that if we are not willing to endure trials, toil, and conflict, if we are not willing to be partakers with Christ of his suffering, we shall be found unworthy of a seat upon his throne. We have everything to gain in the conflict with our mighty foe, and we dare not for a moment yield to his temptation. We know that in our own strength it is not possible for us to succeed. But as Christ humbled himself and took upon himself our nature, he is acquainted with our necessity and has himself bore the heaviest temptation that man have to bear, has conquered the enemies in resisting his suggestion in order that man may learn how to be conqueror. He was clothed with a body like ours, in every respect suffered that man will suffer, and very much more. We shall never be called upon to suffer as Christ suffered. Let me repeat that. We shall never be called upon to suffer as Christ suffered for the sins not of one, but the sins of the whole world was laid upon Christ. He endured humiliation, reproach, suffering, and death, that we, by following his example, might inherit all things. Christ is our pattern, the perfect and holy example that has been given us to follow. We can never equal the pattern, but we may imitate and resemble it according to our abilities. When we fall, all helpless, suffering in consequence of our realization of a sinfulness of sin, when we humble ourselves before God, afflicting our souls by true repentance and contrition, when we offer our fervent prayers to God in the name of Christ, we shall as surely be received by the Father as we sincerely make a complete surrender of our all to God. We should realize in our inmost soul that all that all our efforts in and of ourselves will be utterly worthless, for it is only in the name and the strength of the conqueror 
that we shall be overcomer. Let me repeat this last sentence. We should realize in our inmost soul that all our efforts in and of ourselves will be utterly worthless. For it is only in the name and the strength of the conqueror that we shall be overcomers. And this concludes my topic, my sister, my brother. By the blood of the Lamb. And this is coming from Revelation 12, verses 11. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, we thank you for this message, Father God, by your blood, Father God, that we just need to, Father God, to remember what you went through on Calvary's cross for each and every one of us. So, Father God, we are laying all our burdens at your feet, Father God. You know the trials and the tribulation that each one of us are going through. So, Father God, we just ask you, Father God, to continue to listen, to send your angels, Father God, to rescue us, Father God. So, Father God, we continue to seek you, for God, for counsel. We continue to lay and surrender our lives to you, Father God. Can we know, Father God, by surrendering our life to you, Father God, this is the only way that each and every one of us will be able to make it into heaven. So, Father God, forgive us. Cleanse us, purify us, Father God, and we continue to give you permission, Father God, to use us, to mold us, to shape us, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for hearing through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother. Well, this is Birthday Warrior. You can follow me at birthdaywarrior.com. Right there, you'll find a free ebook. You find you can purchase my book there as well. You can follow me over YouTube under Birdell Warrior. There's a wealth of information there for you and your whole entire family. And while you're in there, while you're over by YouTube, just hit the subscribe button, my sister and brother, and then share the information there. It's good for the whole entire family. Uh, you can't say, well, you know what? I can't, they can't listen to this. They can't. You don't know, my sister and brother, what your children need right now. And then and those information that I shared, it will be something that will, God will bring back to their remembrance on when, when time comes for them to, that they will need it, my sister and brother. So let's us continue to remain faithful until the end. So get ready, get ready. Jesus is soon to come, my sister and brother. So with that, let us go ahead and do the four hugs for survival, four, four, four. So we know that it's four for survival. Eight for maintenance, and then there's 12 for growth, right? 12 for growth. And we know that hugs helps our immune system, and then it also helps our children to grow stronger, mentally strong, okay? So let's go ahead and do the four hugs. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Thank you, my sister and brother. I love you. I appreciate you. So as we continue to serve the Lord, my sister and brother, let us remain faithful until the end. I know that things are very challenging, uh, but here it is. We have to go to the challenge in order to get the character of Christ because God sees something in you. He sees something in me that is not of him. So what is he doing? He's, he's scrubbing, he's scrubbing, he's scrubbing. He's cleansing and purifying us so that we can have the image of Christ. Christ, my sister and brother. So do not murmur or complain. I should have had the part when it says that God measure everything that we're going through. And he sees, he knows that you can pass the test because he knows that you're going to go ahead and rely totally on him for deliverance. And that's why you're going to be able to pass the test. It's not by my will or your will, but by the Spirit, said the Lord. We're going through the, 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 the power of the Lord, my sister and brother. So as we go through our trials and tribulation, don't complain, don't murmur. And then we can go ahead, if you want to put a little bit sweetener in that bitter cup. It's patient endurance and prayer. What did I say? patient endurance and prayer so that is what you can put in that bitter cup and as you drink the bitter cup my sister and brother and you put in your patient endurance and prayer you'll have a little you can you can uh, bear it a little bit longer so just remember patient endurance and prayer 
And if God gave us the first cup and you see that the first cup does not does the job, he's going to put, um, give us another cup. So it's almost like, a, you know, like when you have a, a um, to say a pot that you burned, you know, so I know something might be burning my food on the, on the stove. So it's like you, you use like maybe Ajax or something and you put a little bit in there, right? And then you're scrubbing, 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 and it doesn't do the job. So then what you do, you put some more in there. Well, it's the same thing God is doing with each and every one of us. He is just continue to 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 how would you say put the put the pressure on in order to remove that stain that sin stain that's on on each and every one of us and so if we don't complain and we don't murmur and we continue to do patient endurance and prayer then we'll be able to make it in my sister and brother so let us continue yes it's going to get more intense right because the bible predicted that as we get closer to Jesus coming, it's going to get more intense. Trials is going to get more intense. It's going to be like, he's like, boy, I need a break. I need a break. And you don't see a break coming. But you can get your break by patient endurance and prayer. And knowing that God the Father sees what you're going through. And he is the one that will carry you through. He will carry me through if we allow him to. So it's not like, uh, how would you say, it's a force. It's a love. And God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are gentlemen. So they're not going to force their will on you. You have to say, Lord, I give this to you. Lord, take full control because I don't know how I'm going to make it through. And here it is. It's not, we don't need to worry about the how. That's God's business. We just have to say, Lord, I'm going to go through. Lord, just give me the power to continue because it's based on him. But all we got to do is have faith. Have faith, my sister and brother, that God will see us through. So as this world start press, pressing us, pressing us, as our trials increase, just continue to look up, look up, give praise and honor and glory to God. That is my prayer for you for this new year that we're going to go through. It's not going to be very peaceful, my sister and brother. And if you are at peace, you kind of wonder why. Hmm. What side am I on? Because I know as the children of God, we will go through trials and tribulation because it's a must. It's a must. Can you imagine your life be just smooth and easy? You know, that's like in the fairy tale, right? No, we don't live a fairy tale. We are in reality, my sister and brother. So as our, I would say, as our trials and tribulation increase let us continue to increase our prayer let us continue to give god more praise honor and glory as we go through the fire and knowing that he will see us through so with that my sister and brother i love you i appreciate you until tomorrow or tomorrow tomorrow i'm going to be in i'm going to be here earlier tomorrow earlier tomorrow so with that i love you Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. So don't forget, patient endurance and prayer. That is what you need for that bitter cup that each one of us has to drink, okay? So I love you. Until tomorrow, be blessed.